but I want to thank the volunteers who knocked on doors, who called people, who emailed people. We had over 100,000 people who contributed to our campaign. Thank you. Thank you, Agnes. Agnes, how are you? I love you more. Don't tell my girlfriend. She's kind of territorial. Mark, how are you? Mark, you were there from day one. God bless you. Where's Betty Chu? Is Betty around? Betty? Betty, what, what, is, she, what is she? I, I hate, my mom used to tell me, never mention a woman's age. What are you, 82 years old, 84? First uh, Asian American to pass the bar of California, become a lawyer. You know, our campaign was all, Michael, Michael Horn, how are you? God bless you, I love you more. Yes. Oh. Nashwin, how are you? Nashwin, how are you? This campaign, where's Gloria? Where's Gloria Romero? I don't see Gloria Romero anywhere. There she is, Gloria Romero. Gloria, let me say something about Gloria Romero. You know who Gloria Romero is. Gloria Romero is a Democrat. I'm hoping a recovering Democrat, but we'll see. She was the Senate Majority Leader. She crossed party lines, she's still a Democrat. Like my mother was still a Democrat. My brother was still a Democrat. I couldn't get them to change their party, but I got them to vote a lot more sensibly. Gloria crossed state party lines and supported my candidacy because of the issue of school choice. Because of the issue of school choice. As you know, my opponent, Governor Gavin Newsom, come on. Let's, let's, let's be gracious, let's be gracious in defeat. And by the way, we may have lost the, the battle, but we are going to win the war. <laughs> Gloria crossed party lines because of the issue of school choice. We're spending $15,000 every year for students in our government schools in California. Notice I don't call them public schools, I call them government schools. $15,000 a year, some of the worst reading, reading scores, some of the worst, worst math scores, only about 15 or 16 states spend more. And the students that are getting the raw end of the deal are the black and brown students who comprise 80% of the government students in our government schools. They're getting the worst teachers, the worst principals, the worst administrators, the worst outcomes. What is the route from poverty to middle class? At least finish high school. One presumably where you can read, write, and compute at grade level, and that is not happening. I read a study that said roughly 5% of government teachers across the nation are incompetent. Roughly 5%. I have no idea whether that's true of California, but let's assume for a moment that it is. There are 300,000 public school teachers in California. Any given year, 2.2 are fired. If it is true that 5% are incompetent, that means 15,000 are incompetent. 2.2 every year are fired. Again, I'm not saying that applies to California, but assuming it does, imagine if that applied to cops in LA. I'm in LA. 10,000 force, assuming 15% were incompetent. Talking about 500. 500. Doing what? Planning evidence? Engaging in racial profiling? Using excessive force? We wouldn't put up with it. We'll put up with 15,000 incompetent public school teachers. That is why Gloria and I support school choice. So the money. <laughs> so the money goes into an account, education savings account that the parent can control, put the kid in a charter school, a private school, a religious school, or God forbid, homeschooling. 
The reason we started this campaign is because this man, Governor Gavin Newsom, was sitting up there at the French Laundry restaurant with lobbyists who contributed to his campaign, with the people who drafted the mandates that they were violating by not wearing masks, by not engaging in social distancing, while telling you to do it. Meanwhile, his own kids were enjoying in-person private education. Now, he incurred a $12,000 wine tab. No, I don't know what they ordered, but I bet you it wasn't Mad Dog 2020.